This video we will learn about femoral nerve and its branches with the help of one diagram which is very easy to remember for all of you. We will also see its clinical and MCQ. Femoral nerve is formed by the dorsal divisions of the anterior primary rami of the spinal nerves L2, L3 and L4. L2, L3 and L4 are included in lumbar plexus. And femoral nerve, which is the branch of the lumbar plexus, is considered as one of its largest branch. The femoral nerve is the chief nerve of the anterior compartment of thigh. And the reason behind it is, all the branches of femoral nerve mostly supply the muscles of the anterior compartment. Seeing the branches of femoral nerve, femoral nerve will give its direct branches to two muscles that is nerve to iliacus and nerve to pectineus. Then after, femoral nerve divides into posterior and anterior divisions. Both the divisions give muscular, cutaneous, articular and vascular branches. Before going into the branches, it's important that you learn all the muscles of the anterior compartment of thigh. Hence, I have given the link in the description box where you can go and see the video so that it becomes very easy for you to learn all the branches. The posterior division will supply four muscles that is rectus femoris, vastus lateralis, vastus medialis and vastus intermedialis. Indirectly, it supplies the quadriceps femoris muscle because all the four muscles combine and form quadriceps femoris. It will also give its cutaneous branch that is saphenous nerve. Along with it, the muscular branches which was given by posterior division supply the hip joint as well as the knee joint and it will also give some of the small branches to the femoral artery. Moving on to the branches of the anterior division. The anterior division will supply only one muscle that is sartorius. And then after it will divide itself into two cutaneous branches that is intermediate cutaneous nerve of thigh and medial cutaneous nerve of thigh. Now I would like you to solve one of the MCQ. Name the muscle which is not supplied by femoral nerve. And yes, you are right. The correct answer is biceps femoris. Hence, with the help of this one diagram, you can easily learn all the branches of femoral nerve. But it is important that we see the clinical too. If there is injury to femoral nerve, then obviously, the muscles which are supplied by it will get paralyzed and we will also have sensory loss because femoral nerve gives cutaneous branches. Hence the first symptom that we see in patient if they have injury to femoral nerve is paralysis of quadriceps femoris muscle. And the second one will be sensory loss to the anterior and medial side of the thigh. Along with it, we will also have sensory loss on medial side of the leg too. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do like, share and subscribe.